Hey guys, you know that every month here on Tech Tomorrow, we try to bring you guys at least one custom build. And that's right, during the holiday season, we're about to bring you another one. Now this is our very first Threadripper system that we've ever built, but it's absolutely incredible. I mean, this thing looks good, it's very fast, it's totally quiet, and overall, just one of the nicest systems that we've ever done here at Tech and Tomorrow. And all the parts inside of it are extremely high quality parts. And you guys just have to admit, this thing is just beautiful. Also, I'm a big fan of like the Green Arrow and all those DC people, so this build is called the Killer Frost because it's going to kill your wallet, but it runs really frosty. Inside the Killer Frost are a lot of high quality components. From the case to the video card to the memory, everything is pretty much top of the line. Now for the case, we went for the Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB case. Now this thing's got a lot of nice features, tempered glass, and for you folks out there with RGB, hey, it's all built in the case. Gigabyte was totally cool enough to kick us down an X399 Designer EX motherboard. Now this X399, this is a very, very expensive motherboard. Hence kind of why we use the name Killer Frost. For one thing, it's gonna kill your wallet and it runs pretty frosty. Being that this is my very first Threadripper system, I went with the AMD Threadripper 1900X. And this is an eight core, 16 thread CPU. It's made for pretty much doing absolutely anything you want. Content creation, gaming, streaming, anything you want can be done with this processor. It's very powerful. And it's not really the most expensive processor in the world though, because it only comes to market at about $549. So for a high-end system, it's still not too overly overpriced. Before we did this build, I had read online that a lot of the CPU coolers out there would not really cool the Threadripper CPU optimally. Well, the Corsair Hydro Series H115i, it worked absolutely perfect. And at the end, we'll show you how cool this system runs even under full load. One thing I really wanted to do with this build is try to stick as much AMD inside of the computer as I can. And we all know that the AMD Radeon RX Vega 64 cards, they are a fortune. Now, unfortunately, the model that we're using, it's the power color Red Devil. It's not currently available. At least I'm not able to find it online anywhere for sale. We'll have a link down below for a substitute card, but this Red Devil card is really amazing. And they're known for overclocking, they're known for running cool and being absolutely pretty much the fastest RX Vega 64s you can get your hands on. For the boot drive, we're using the Corsair Neutron Series NX500 400 gigabyte PCIe SSD. Now this thing is incredibly fast, so for transferring your files, editing, doing all that stuff, it's going to be one of the fastest things you can get your hands on. For the storage drive, we went with the Seagate Constellation ES series drive. That's a two terabyte drive with 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache, and actually one of the more affordable parts in this system. One thing about AMD boards and memory is a lot of the boards that are out there, you can't get the true speed of the memory without doing some overclocking and some voltage adjustments. Well, the memory that we use actually right off the bat is 3200 megahertz. And as soon as I installed it in the gigabyte board, hit the XMP profile, it ran with that automatically with no weird stuff like overvolting or anything else. Now this is the G-Skill 32 gigabyte Trident Z kit. There's actually four eight gigabyte sticks in the kit. It's DDR4 and like I said, 32 200 megahertz right out of the box with no adjustments, but here's where you're going to shit a brick. This memory is almost 700 bucks. Yep, I said it. Powering the Killer Frost is the Corsair RM750X power supply. Now it's 80 plus gold certified and 750 watts, which was actually perfect for this system. Inside this build, you guys can see that we used a lot of fans. There are two in the front, one in the back. Now these particular fans are the Corsair ML140 Pro fans. These only light up white, but they feature magnetic levitation. If you don't know what this means, it pretty much makes your fans completely silent even when they're running almost full blast. And the three fans on top are the Corsair LL series, the LL140 RGB. Now these are 140 millimeter dual light loop fans and they're absolutely quiet. And you can get these fans in a two pack for under hundred bucks. You guys can see that the cable management in this system has to be really good because obviously you can see everything inside of it and that can be a real pain in the ass to get perfect. But Anthony was able to achieve that no problem. You guys can see that everything inside here is totally clean and the fans are all set right. We have two intake fans in the front and a single fan in the back for exhaust. Now that we've seen what makes the Killer Frost such a killer system, let's check out those benchmarks.
guys can see that the Threadripper CPU handles everything without a problem. And one of the really nice things about this system, like I said before, is it is totally quiet. And the temperatures, you can see that the Threadripper CPU never got over 59 Celsius, even under full load. And the Red Devil video card, even though that sounds really hot, never got over 68 Celsius. I was really, really excited about doing our very first Threadripper build. I think it came out really excellent. Obviously, the price on a lot of these parts are over the top, but like usual, you know, the case and the design of all that is really the look of the system. The motherboard, yeah, it looks absolutely great, but I mean, you could probably find one that was a little bit lower priced. I don't know if it had the same quality as this motherboard because this motherboard really kicks ass, but you could probably do that. At the end of the day, this system, you could probably build it around this. You could find good prices, probably for about $3,000. Unfortunately, the video card, the one that we have inside the system, it's actually not out for sale right now. I'm sure it will be soon. But overall, this thing just looks clean. Like I said before, it, to me, it's kind of like art and industry all in one system. Everything on it runs nice. It runs quiet. It's beautiful. I mean, other than the fact that it's really expensive, there's nothing to really complain about about this system. Now, for you guys who follow the channel, we've got some cool stuff coming up. On the 14th of December, we're going to begin the 12 days of Christmas. That's right. So from every day, from that day till Christmas day, we're going to be giving stuff to you. And yes, it's international, but I want to be clear up front. If you're an international winner, we're not going to give you like stuff and ship it to you. International shipping right now has gone up so much that I haven't even been able to ship the last prize to my buddy Carlo. I mean, that's how expensive it is. For, so for you guys over there, I'm going to give you guys triple A game tiles. That's right. Not cheap games, really, really good games and the latest games that are out. So for you people out there who are international, instead of just cutting you guys out of the picture, I'm going to keep you guys in the picture, but it will be just high end games. But come on, a lot of these games are 60 bucks. So it's like a 60 buck Christmas gift. So really no need to complain. We'll start this contest up on the 14th. We'll have a video about it. I hope to see you guys on it. Um, I like to use Twitter. I know a lot of people said to use this Glean thing or whatever, but I prefer to use Twitter because I'm going to tell you this. A lot of people said, oh, you know, the people that are going to be in there aren't going to be your fans. Well, I go through every single one of the people that are in there and make sure that they actually have been following us on Twitter and are actually one of my audience. And I feel that using Twitter is just more personal because for one thing, I can reach out to you. I can send you a message. We can talk. It's much, much easier. Trying to get stuff away here on YouTube is next to insane. You guys see I have over half a million subscribers. So just imagine if I had to pick through a half a million people to pick a winner. The, even programming into the computer to get a random number would be a nightmare. I'd have to hire a full-time crew to work for a month to do it. So doing it through Twitter is much better for you guys as well. And also, if you'd like to see some stuff on Facebook again, let me know down below. And hey, I can do something on Facebook as well, right? The more the merrier. It is the holidays. So happy holidays to all you folks. I know there's a bunch of different religions and stuff. To me, it's just a great time to spend with your family, try to be happy. And I know there are some people and, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but some of my friends lately that live overseas and stuff, things are so bad there that suicide just seems to be going up. So if you're feeling really bad on the holidays and feeling lonely, reach out, man. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I can talk to you anytime you want. Like usual, all the parts that we use in this system, except for the video card, obviously, will be down below that like button. So I hope you guys like this video. I thank you for following the channel. Next year, we have all new stuff coming brand new website. It's just been finished. We're just plugging all plugins. I got to write a bunch of reviews again, obviously, to get shit up on there. And we have a brand new forum. So coming in 2018, Tech of Tomorrow is getting a whole new look, whole new makeover, and we're going to change up our style.